like this. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, these boots we don't see until over there again. Do you guys see that? Mm -hmm. Why is that? That is because the person stood here and removed them. Why does he want to remove them? Because he's walking barefoot, which we can see over here. Why does he not want to walk barefoot? Uh, with shoes on? Sorry, say again? To be quiet so he doesn't startle the animals. You hear that? Because he's wanting to stalk up to something, perhaps. Okay. And then that same person, you can see walking barefoot, he places his two shoes, and that's why you can see the two shoes put together like this. Because he places his shoes just down there like that. Okay. He spent a little bit of time assessing here, because you can see he did go down on one knee. And there's the knee, and we can see the long pants again, by the way. Look at the lines. Okay. He put his rifle like this, and watch. <coughs> we can also see rhino tracks here, guys. Okay. All right. Then he shoots and we know he shoots and there we can see the rifle we can obviously do forensic tests on the on the rifle and that we can see also the type of rifle look at the lines did you guys see the lines over there mm -hmm. okay then something interesting over here this person when he he reloaded obviously he fired a shot didn't he okay this person did he reload quickly or slowly it was in a hurry well this person is a little bit negligent because he didn't pick up his dog. He didn't pick up his round. This is traceable. Okay? We can tell a couple of things by looking at this, and we can ask the professor, and he'll tell us a couple of extra things about this. Okay? Because that is his forte. All right? But there's a lot of things we can tell about this. If we have a look there, if I compare, if I remove, if I remove a case from a shot round, if I fire a shot and I move it quickly, okay? I do this and I do this. What happens is this gets extracted and when it comes back, and you must correct me if I'm wrong or add to the, my information, please. When I extract it, this gets flicked back very quickly because of the speed. Mm -hmm. At some stage, it flicks back and it knocks the side of the, of the rifle. That's what it's doing to my rifle that I love very much at this stage. And it's not knocking the metal, it's knocking the wood. But Beyonce says at some stage he will be able to adapt it so it will start knocking the metal. Okay. But it knocks, the, it knocks the piece of the rifle and then bounces onto the ground. What it then creates is this indent. So do you see how it's not round there anymore? Look at that dent. Can you guys see that? This one that was lying there is a perfect circle. This one was extracted very slowly and it just fell out. Okay. Do you see how we're starting to see these differences and we're getting these motives going now? The next thing is if we look at these two, okay. Because we've got a primer that is silver, not always the case though, we can assume that this thing was reloaded. You know that. You know what reloaded means? That means somebody has hand loaded it themselves. It's not factory ammunition, which is even more traceable. You know that. Okay. A lot of times, if we look at certain of these things, and that's what you look on, and you guys can come and look closer. When somebody, and this is definitely not Beyonce that reloaded this, I can tell that. I'll explain why now. When somebody does the reloading process, at some stage you've got to put a substance on to lubricate the process so that you can form this thing back to its original state but that that lubricant is corrosive so at some stage you've got to then remove that corro that lubricant because then it'll corrode the inside of your uh, chamber of your rifle and things like that but if you are not so per not so per good at doing it and don't clean your f your rounds then that lubricant stays on which means when I pick that round up and I hold it like this what is happening Remember, fingerprints can be left here, but generally after between four and five hours, it actually they can become irrelevant often because of uh, you know weather and things like that. But if we look here, here's a fingerprint that's stuck here and it's been there for months of the person who reloaded this potentially. You see, you're interested. You see how there's a little bit of information that we get. You see that? Look at that. You see that there? Okay. All right. Okay. Interesting, eh? Yeah, that's a little bit of information and that's good. Yeah. Yeah. But otherwise